The course I'd like to talk about today is Blue Rock Springs, the East course, designed in 1994, so within my lifetime. But before I get into it, if you like these videos, be sure to slam the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more updates. So what Blue Rock Springs East offers is an affordable way to play challenging championship level golf. Unlike the West course, which is viewed as, by some, the members side where more of the longtime locals play, East offers more undulation in my opinion, uh, at times harder shots, including more water hazards and more uh, shot shaping where the course winds both left and right and you have to move the ball in specific ways with very penalizing penalty areas that wrap around that piece of the property. Blue Rock Springs East is where the driving range is and actually has the views of the bay as opposed to west. But at the same time, it definitely feels like the visitor's course. Now the course is very approachable in their rates. They're approximately, I'm not looking this up, but they're between about $25 to $40 uh, depending on if you want a cart fee or if you're walking, they're in that range. It's very, very affordable and it's in very good condition. I'd say take about five or six golf balls, understand you're in for a challenge, and enjoy this course in Vallejo, California. Blue Rock Springs East Course, and this video was requested by John Gay. Blue Rock Springs East Course, the front nine. So the front nine, the first hole is just a straightforward par four not the longest hole, uh, just need a straight shot, which I didn't have. There are trees both to your left and right side. You're coming down a hill. Not a lot of hazards, just that one bunker in front. I hit this kind of fluid a little bit, but it's kind of a rough start. Had this left for the par, and I just ran it by. That's a bogey. That was the approach to this par three the second hole on Blue Rock Springs East. And I really caught a lot of that and took one club extra. One thing you'll note on this, and check out the editing on this one where I show you where I put the chip is, the wind is really, really howling. Look behind there. So here this is for par. Ran that buddy by, but we made it up by dropping that. So we got another bogey, not the best start. Par four, third hole basically the same hole as the first hole but it's just um it's moving instead of a little to your left it's moving a, well actually it, they both move to your left normally that they don't do that hit it over the other side flighted my ball over the tree got really really lucky here and kind of hit in the front and it ran to right here and i dropped that putt so got a stroke back not mad at that so the fourth hole is really tricky. If you look to your right, that's all out of bounds. So you'll lose your ball. You really, really, if you miss, you want to miss to the left, and I totally missed to the left, but that's not really a bad shot. I took a three wood. Even though the length, I probably need a driver, you really don't want to go right on this hole. So catch this thin, top it, but it, I took an effort to this hole being strategic over trying to just play it and we have this uh, chip shot, or I guess it's a pitch shot. It's a little outside of a chip. And I was left with another one of these putts, and I, you can see right away that that was just too low. So there we go. Par five, this was one of the harder holes on the whole course for me, and it wasn't about, it's kind of weird because I hit this drive really well. Little cut, my natural cut, because I come over the top. But I caught a really bad lie. This rough is really thick. So make a note of that if you're going to play this course. The rough is really thick. Hit that really well. And that didn't go super, super far. I had a wedge in my hand. I think I took a pitching wedge. And the wind and the uphill fooled me. And I flew this son of a buck. And then I caught my chip thin. It ended up bogeying that hole, but I'm not going to show you that because I actually thought I lost my ball and didn't record it. So I hit a great shot on the par three, put it to right here. It was really awesome. When I get the tripod going, you'll be able to see these type of shots. 
and I hit the worst putt ever. Look at how ugly that is. I hit, I looked up on the putt, no commitment, no confidence. Really cool hole right here. Dog leg right, par five, hazard on the left, out of bounds, and hazard on the right. You have to place your ball in a strategic place and then advance the ball. And there's a risk reward where if you want to fly over the canyon and you believe in your driver, you can really advance the ball. I pulled this son of a buck and had this left hit a really good three wood from here. And from that shot, I was left with just a wedge. And I hit a really good wedge right there. Took a nice good divot. And you will see I actually caught too much of that ball and I was used to striking the ball not nearly as well as I do. And I flew it right there and I almost chip in right there. So not a bad way to make par on that hole. Really fun downhill uh, distance control par three shot right here. Really in between clubs. I had the gap wedge in my hand from the tips. Didn't want to hit a 54. It was just a really, if I had a 52 in my bag, that probably would have been the perfect club, but I don't carry that gap. Tried to, tried to mess with it. And then this chip was basically impossible. I was chipping downhill and just trying not to have that go into the hazard. And this was all about pace. Just making sure I got it there. Get that two putt, get the par salvage the hole and the last hole on the front nine was this hole which was very short i'm enjoying that i can just take a three wood off the tee from even the back tees and just put it in the middle of the fairway you know i'm gonna have about a nine iron or a wedge into the hole can't remember but just put it into the fairway keep the ball straight this is what i have remaining really hit that well like that was going right at the pin and my buddy actually thought that went in actually went further than it or actually went shorter hey everyone it's Lukey here and if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up smash that like button be sure to leave a comment and share it with your friends so more people can see these informative videos that I'm trying to put out